So for today's topic, we have an interesting couple that, by the looks of it, are never exactly going to be loyal to Royal. They claim that while on a cruise with Royal Caribbean, they had bed bugs in their cabin and they have the bites to prove it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the video and then we'll talk about the details because there are a lot of people that are naysayers to this story. They don't believe it, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Go, 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 so this interesting couple here is known as Claire and Peter. They have about 153,000 followers on TikTok, which in the TikTok world is somewhat small, but my point is that they have an audience on social media. So they went on what they thought was going to be a nice vacation on board a Royal Caribbean ship when they claimed there were bed bugs in the bed. So they contact the staff and management and they checked the bed and according to them, they had the audacity to put all of the bedding on top of their luggage, which could have potentially put more bed bugs inside of their luggage, I guess. And this couple said that the bites that they had and sustained would be on them for months. Now, when you look at a topic like this, you do gotta wonder, is there truly a bed bug situation on board a specific Royal Caribbean ship? I can't name the ship because unfortunately they didn't put it in the title and I searched through the comments and, well, I find a lot of interesting things that I'll show you guys in a minute, but I didn't see anything about the ship that they were on. But looking at this particular situation, this couple was clearly upset. Royal Caribbean put them in another room, which according to them, how they worded, that was Royal Caribbean's confession and the fact that there were bed bugs in the room, or maybe Royal Caribbean was actually just trying to do something nice for the couple and trying to rectify the situation. However, you have the couple that is still not satisfied because they didn't get a refund. So this couple was clearly upset about the bed bug situation on this Royal Caribbean ship. So they did the only smart, logical thing that anybody would do. They made a TikTok video about it and put it on their TikTok account in order to blast Royal Caribbean and make Royal Caribbean look bad and let everybody know that they will no longer be sailing on another Royal Caribbean cruise. However, by looking at the comments, I would say that things somewhat backfired because you have a lot of people that are saying those are not bed bug bites, they are mosquito bites. You have other people that are saying that, well, they're trying to get a free cruise or they're justifying the situation and saying that you're gonna have bed bugs or some instance of bugs literally anywhere you go. And I can agree with that, especially if somebody lives in Florida, bugs are definitely going to get in. However, when you're talking about a cruise ship, I will vouch on the fact for Royal Caribbean, I sail on a lot of cruise ships, as most of you guys know, and cruise ships are by far the cleanest place you will ever go. Now, maybe on an older ship, there could be a situation. I don't know what ship, again, they were sailing on. However, I know that the crew go out of their way to make sure everything is as clean and spick and span as possible. And you also have Royal Caribbean that did rectify and fix the problem by immediately putting this couple in another room. So question of the day, are we actually dealing with legitimate bed bug bites here or is it something else? Well, I did a quick Google search to see the difference between a bed bug bite, mosquito bite, and spider bite. And as you can see, the bites that this couple sustained looks more similar to mosquito bites. And I'm not denying their claim in any way, shape, or form because I do know full well that we are all in different bodies and we all are naturally going to react differently to different sets of bites. And they're saying that these bites that they sustained, they had scars on them for months. So again, I'm not denying it. Who knows? For all we know, they could be telling the truth. However, I did briefly scroll around on their profile on TikTok and well, let's just say some of it is a little uh, out there when it comes to their content. One thing about me is I used to live and work in Charlotte, North Carolina, where some people are racist. One day I met up with some friends from my first job for a basketball game, courtesy of their company, which was also my company before I left to switch to another company. Anyways, one of their coworkers, was there who I had never met and he dead ass says to me hey when my wife gets here it would be so funny if you pretend that you have the coronavirus 
And so here's my two pesos on this topic. When it comes to situations like this, in the event that somebody is experiencing any kind of issue with something that they purchase, because I truly believe that you should always get what you paid for, you should always go to management and see if they are going to be willing to rectify the situation. If they fix it immediately, then well, the problem is solved, wash your hands of it and be gone with it. However, it's an issue where, let's say in this case, there are actual bed bugs, which apparently Royal Caribbean didn't find any, and I think if there actually was, you'd be able to see them. Now, I've never dealt with bed bugs ever, so I don't know, maybe you guys know better than me. I thought you could see them. I know they're tiny. However, if they were there, you'd be able to see them, no problem, especially considering the type of bites that this couple sustained, apparently and allegedly from the bed bugs, you would think they'd be crawling all over the place, but no. But I would say when somebody goes to complain about an issue or they bring it up to management, if management is able to rectify the situation, they go above and beyond and make things right, then I think you should just wash your hands of it. It's done. It's over. But if they decide to be difficult about it, they don't offer aid in some kind of way, then yeah, you should be compensated for the situation that you're dealing with. I'm just not somebody that runs around. If I have an issue with my food and maybe the food is overcooked or whatever the case is, if the company is willing to replace said food in this type of situation, I got no problem. It's done. And they bring it out quickly. No big deal at all. No harm done. However, if they said, hey, we got to eat the food and you got to deal with it, I'd be like, look, I want a refund. I'm not somebody that runs around trying to get free cruises, free hotel stays, but you have a lot of people out there that legitimately go out of their way to try to get free stuff and they make an issue out of it. Now, there are people that are claiming this couple is just literally trying to get an extra free cruise because that's their style. And I would say that could be a possibility. If they just do TikTok, for example, I don't know what their regular job is. I know TikTok doesn't exactly pay very well. So who knows? You got a lot of people out there that could be just trying to get in where they fit in, if you know what I I mean get as much free stuff as they can and capitalize on any situation that they can and I'm sure a lot of you out there just like myself we've seen a lot of people that like that are like this and it absolutely disgusts me I could never understand and bring myself to get to a point to where I'm taking advantage of a company I get it they make millions right but for you to try to go out of your way because you are too cheap or you are some type of schemer and you want to try to get something free from a company when everybody else is paying for it then I think that personally there is a problem with you not you guys i mean the, this couple in particular if that is a situation anybody out there that does this kind of stuff but either way guys that's what i got to say on the matter of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section below very interesting topic on your way out of course hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all of you later thanks for watching take it easy